I truly hope that somewhere in your kitchen you have this old, worn, and tattered, and stained from splatters recipe album that your mom or your grandmother wrote out their hand recipes. I think this was something we got from a school fundraiser when I was in school, and that's been many, many years ago because I'm 53 now. Be 54 soon. But anyway, um, yeah, all these wonderful recipes for Christmas and holidays and Thanksgiving. And we have some wonderful recipes I'm going to share with you. But today we're going to look at my mama's pecan pie. And here it is. It's written in her handwriting. And I have made so many of them. I've got splatters of everything. And that's splatters of love. So um, these things you can't get back. So this is another reason I love doing these recipes. I think I'm about to cry. But um, when you bake these things, you have memories of spending time with them. And the best thing for you to do is while you can, you take your youngins, you take your children, grandchildren, you get them in that kitchen and you build these memories. Because if all they remember is that all they did was show up and eat and then everybody went to sleep or watched a football game or went and the children played outside or whatever yeah they remember how good the food was but spending time and watching you cook these things or you cooking them for your family with your family will be even richer than anything you could cook and eat and that's all i'm going to say about that so here we have some pecans now here in the south, we have pecan trees or pecan trees. Wherever you're from, you're going to pronounce it differently. It's fine. Um, here in eastern North Carolina, most of us say pecan. And uh, this time of the year, people are starting to pick up pecans. And they're cracking them. And they're readily available. So I think that's why lots of dishes with pecans in them were popular for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, I use light corn syrup in these recipes because that's what my mama used. And that's probably what you're going to do. If you've got dark Cairo syrup and you're used to it, use it. I like real butter. And I use unsalted because I like to control the amount of salt that I've got. And my good pure Madagascar bourbon vanilla extract. Nothing is like it for good vanilla. It just adds so much flavor. That between that and the real butter. It just makes this so much richer. So the other ingredients are gonna be three eggs, three fourths cup of light caro syrup, one and a half tablespoon of melted butter. But I add just a little bit more. Um, I use two tablespoons of butter. Um, three fourths cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla. And we're gonna start off with one cup of pecans. I keep adding pecans until the batter is even with the pie shell because sometimes pie shells are made different differently excuse me miss english and um so at any rate we're going to i'm going to show you a little trick there so you don't end up with too much batter in your pie shell but pretty much you know mama always said bake on a low rack that's because her heating element was on the low rack mine is not so it doesn't really make any difference but um, she's got all those tips about cooking for two different temperatures and we'll go over that and you can see over here where I wrote sometimes I make two pies so let's get back to making a pecan pie shortly we're going to melt some butter guys and I'm going to do two tablespoons of butter melted and I want to show you something if you're melting butter in the microwave if you put a whole hunk of butter in there it's going to splatter if you'll cut it up a little bit it won't splatter and also just do it in 30 second increments on 50% power and it'll melt evenly. Guys, there, there's nothing hard about this. You want to first make sure you whisk the eggs very, very, very well. Then we're gonna put in the Cairo syrup. After we've beaten those, I'm gonna use this sliding measuring cup to get out all of that sticky corn syrup. And this is my favorite kind of measuring cup for peanut butter, shortening, anything that's sticky or solid. Those push ones are awesome. 
Okay, I'm gonna also add one teaspoon of vanilla. Mix that in, and we're gonna put three fourths a cup of regular sugar. Pecan pie is not for those who need to stay away from sugar. So we've mixed all those things together. Then we're gonna add the butter. You don't wanna add warm or hot butter to directly to eggs. So that's why we mixed up everything with the sugar before we add the butter. After we add the butter, we want to make sure we whisk it up very well. And then it's time to add the pecans or the pecans, whichever you, and we can add up to a cup and a fourth or a cup and a half, I think mom said. So we're gonna go ahead and add a cup because we know we can get that in there. And this was a fourth of cup measuring. That's why it looks so much. Okay, we're gonna blend the pecans in, chopped. And they will float to the surface, just saying, so don't worry about not having a pretty top with the pecans on it. And again, I buy my nuts already chopped, ready to go because of time constraints. If you are retired and you can pick out your own pecans, more power to you. I just don't have the time to do it. If somebody gives you a gift of pecans that are shelled and picked out, that is a huge gift. Let me go ahead and tell you. Around here, they go for about $10 a pound and it's well worth it. A lot, a lot of time goes into that. So we're going to get all of this syrup out and we're right there at the edge of the pie shell if you can see so we can add a few more nuts and this is when your nuts can vary how many can you stick in there and you won't how many can you get there without the filling going over? And you want to look at the edge so, because the level of the syrup will rise the more pecans you put in there. And when you do, just push them gently down under the syrup with your whisk so they have the syrup on them. So that's probably a cup and a fourth, honestly and truthfully. And now we're gonna put it in the oven. We will see you shortly, Mr. Pecan Pie. Okay, it's been in there about 20 minutes actually at 375 and we're lowering it to 350. And we're gonna watch it until it's ready to go. When you start seeing it having cracks in it, and it is nice and pretty and brown you want to check it to make sure it's not real soupy on the inside anymore when you take it out of the oven it should have a nice brown feature to it and it's still going to be have syrup down in there i'm going to do this so you can see when the liquid on the inside cools it will harden and create the delicious pecan pie that we all know and love. When you take it out of the oven, it shouldn't jiggle. If it jiggles, put it back in there for five more minutes. And if you were to stick something in there, you will see that it will have some, looks like liquid, but when it cools, it's gonna set up and harden but it shouldn't be jiggly when you when you do like that it shouldn't move like a lot so this is done we're gonna let it cool and then I'm gonna show you what I mean hey my friends I just want to show you something I made this little indention to show you that as it sets up and as it cools, it does turn into a filling and comes together more than a liquid. 
So it's not quite cool. I just wanted to show you it does set up, okay? I have just made the first cut out of this pie and it should hold together and the sides should remain in place. It's not 100% cool, but it's been cooling probably a little over an hour. And when you set things on a granite countertop, the heat disperses so much better. Um, so honestly, you need to let a pecan pie cool for about two hours. The richness of the pie is absolutely delicious. I've seen some pecan pies that are like an inch worth of this uh, filling, the sweet filling, and not a lot of pecans. Well, that to me is not pecan pie. You want kind of equal amounts of the sweet filling that comes together and delicious, rich, buttery, sweet filling as well as those wonderful, plump, delicious pecans. So I'm gonna taste of it. All it needs, y'all, to make it 100% is a scoop of vanilla ice cream, but I don't have any ice cream today. But there's nothing wrong with it. And honestly, for breakfast, this and a cup of coffee, instead of a sweet roll, yum, yum. Mm. Did y'all see how easy it was to throw this pecan pie together? Do it. Mm -hmm. When you get down to this part, you can just pick it up and take a bite. Y'all go ahead. Now go get the ingredients and make you one today. You can do this. God bless you. Thank you for watching.